Hello, welcome to today's Micro Mini Movie number four. And today's props are the usual Robert Tannehill, Paisley Abbey, the bonnets not going anywhere. But today I've got on my Parker. And the reason I've got my Parker on is today I'm going to read you a poem about scooter boys, scooter girls, and about the fact that, well, I'm always loath to say what a poem's about because you can write it with certain intentions but it ends up it's about whatever the reader receives it as. So I'll leave it at that at the moment. But one thing I wanted to show you was I was made recently an honorary member of the Paisley Vespa Club, the PVCs. And this is my badge of honour, so to speak. It's my badge that shows the Paisley Vespa Club. And the interesting thing I find about it, on it they've integrated a bobbin of thread and a needle, which relates to Paisley's history in the cotton mills. So they're an organisation that does an awful lot for charity. So as well as older folk and, and young folk, but primarily older folk who enjoy themselves the way they used to enjoy themselves when they were younger. The music, the dancing, the scooters, the camaraderie, the companionship, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think that's a really good thing. Like, for example, uh, if I go swimming, I feel the same way I do when I used to go when I was a young boy and a young man. I think it's great to do something that you still can tap into the feelings that you had when you were a lot younger. Because feelings really don't have an age. They don't have an age limit. Anyway, that's all very philosophical, so I'll get on with things. Um, the poem I'm going to read is about a guy called Jimmy Plonk. Now, Jimmy, I met at a ride out in Paisley when I was down taking some photographs. And Jimmy subsequently introduced me to a variety of his friends, and I met some of them in the last post pub in Paisley, interviewed them, heard their stories. And what struck me most was a very warm group of people, very supportive. I'll give you an example. There was someone who died recently and there wasn't going to be a large turnout at their funeral. So the minister contacted the Paisley Vespa Club and asked if anybody would like to support it because this person had an affiliation with scooters when they were younger. And lo and behold, on the day of the funeral, a big group of the scooter people turned up and gave the person who died a really good send-off. So that's the kind of people that are really nice and really warm. And uh, as I interviewed them and I interviewed Jimmy, I got enough material I thought this could make a really interesting poem. Because for me, the crux of the poem is still doing something that you used to do when you were young and enjoying it. Perhaps on a more slightly more mature reflection on it, but still getting the same feelings. So this poem's called A History of Jimmy Plonk. Jimmy Plonk is from the PVCs, not from the Renfrewshire Renegades, not from the Kilburnie Mad Dogs, and not from the Johnson Cider Circle, but the PVCs. He's a respectable, old-school, Ayrshire scooter boy. Jimmy's dream machine was a yellow ochre vintage Lambretta GP200 that he saved £5 a week for with his dad going halfers. He bought it from Mickey Oates in Glasgow and took it home in a train to Prestwick and went to school on it every single day. A well-behaved 17-year-old who later, as an aside, mentions the party and the lawn that his gang crisscross tyre marks, destroying plants and smashing a white picket fence as they sped off after a gang of greasers, shifting spanners in hand. His mind speeding back through the years, he tells me his story, 
His hair no longer grey, his bike festooned with chrome and mirrors and lamps, and his passengers, Isabel riding pillion, wearing a pink jacket and an open mouthed smile with her arms secured tightly around his waist. Jimmy reckons looking smart is his mod DNA, and his three buttoned, notched lapel bum freezer jacket with side vents five inches long, a knitted woolen tie, fastened with bull's eye tie clip, wearing a button down Ben Sherman wrapped in a fishtail parka, designed to shed green snow and rain. Today, ideal for the grey skies of Paisley. The rattling purr of his memory's engine, accelerating towards his here and now. Where today's Medina replica bikes put, put, put into his slipstream. And he disappears along Gilmore Street, followed by a myriad of scooters on their annual Paisley ride out, as if a sheriff at the head of a posse heading towards the end of an old time western movie, the sun dipping into Jimmy Plonk's horizon. Thank you very much, Jimmy Plonk, for that poem. It was a pleasure to meet you and your pals. Thank you.